We all look out windows. I mean, that's just a natural thing. Be it the windshield of your car or maybe a window at home. We're always looking out some sort of window. It's because we're looking for the openness of a brand new beginning. Our daily goals are to allow all things to have a voice. And even though we may not be the greatest providers, the one thing that we should know is through each and every one of us, God reaches other people. I mean, what is a question but a reason to seek? What is the answer but a season to seek even more? Hey, it's Harrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Wait, 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 wait. I, I got to go back to that. What is a question but a reason to seek? What is the answer but a season to seek more? I love asking questions. I think that's one of the reasons why I've been blessed with this incredible opportunity to speak with lots of people of fame. I love asking questions. And here's the really bizarre part of all of that. Every time that I ask a question, I get in return an answer. Then it makes me want to seek even more. But in our everyday world, we have stopped asking questions. We've allowed people to take advantage of the creativity that flows through us on a daily basis, which goes back to that other thing, the greatest provider. We know that we're not the greatest provider. But we also know that when we do provide, it's God reaching through us, which takes us directly to the next thing, which is the question. A question is seeking and the answer is seeking even more. But yet we will walk through an everyday world, allowing our bosses to take us down. We will stumble. And while we're stumbling, we'll let a family member or a friend to take us down even more. But we won't question it. And how do I know this? Because I lecture every single week in front of huge amounts of people. And I start everything off with, I need three questions. That's all I want. Three questions. And the reason why I want three questions is because we have stopped asking questions. And I feel in my heart that I am being told and commanded to reteach people to start asking questions. And I'll set it up and I'll say, you're going to go to a job interview. And at that job interview, that employer is going to say, so do you have any questions? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then you land the job. And when you land the job, everything they expect from you is going to be different. And you're going to say, whoa, 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 what gives here, man? This wasn't part of of the actual layout. You didn't ask questions. See, when we stop asking questions, that's giving permission to other people to take advantage of everything that you do. And if you're confronted by people who are constantly demanding things from you and abusing everything that you are, what we do is we choose not to fight. We bite the inner side of our lip and say, all right, man, that's fine. That's fine. We take it all in. We become introverts in a world where we're expressing everything that we have inside of us onto social media. So we are the greater provider in the moment that we feel we have to release it. But when we want to be able to ask questions, we're not providing anything, which means we're stopping God at that point in our life. We're not letting God move through us in that moment. And when you ask questions, it is God providing you with the confidence to grow forward and outward. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Questions, yes, are to seek. And the answers you get back invite you to seek even more. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.